You may have seen the beautiful root hairs that appear on microgreens and accidentally mistaken them for mold. I still see many new growers get confused by this, so I'm gonna show you in this video exactly how to tell the difference between mold and root hairs. For the best microgreens content on the internet, be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you get notified when I post a new microgreens video every Tuesday at 2 p.m. When I started growing microgreens and saw these fuzzy little root hairs for the first time, I thought that they were mold too. But there's a big difference between mold and root hairs, and there's a very simple way to tell the difference between the two. Over the years, I've experienced different molds, I've seen tons of root hairs, and in the various microgreens groups on Facebook, I still see people mistaking their beautiful, healthy root systems for mold. If you want a foolproof way to determine whether your microgreens have mold or root hairs, then stay tuned because I'm gonna show you exactly how to tell the difference on your own, that way you never have to be confused or worried again. Okay, so mold and root hairs are very different. Root hairs, or cilia, are these fuzzy little shoots that come off of the roots of plants in order to aid in water absorption. Mold, on the other hand, is actually a type of fungus that grows when specific conditions are met and will cause problems in your microgreens because the function of fungus is actually to break down natural materials. Mold and root hairs can actually look very similar to an untrained eye, so let me show you what to look for so you can tell the difference on your own. Comment below and let me know if you've ever seen root hairs on your microgreens and what varieties you notice them on the most. Root hairs are bright white and always appear to congregate around the root itself. Remember, they radiate out from and are attached to the central root. Mold, on the other hand, can be many different colors, including gray, black, and even blue. If the mold is white, it actually won't be as bright white as the root hairs are, and will actually have a little bit of a grayish tint. But the most important factor when determining whether you are dealing with mold or root hairs is the fact that mold will spread instead of saying central to the root. So if you see something that's spreading across your microgreens tray or looks more like a grayish spider web, then you are in fact dealing with mold. Remember also that the purpose of mold is to break down natural matter. So another great indicator is if the mold appears to be serving its natural purpose of decomposition. So if the mold is forming on dead seeds that didn't sprout, or maybe it's forming on other plant matter or sticks that may have ended up in your microgreens tray, chances are it's mold. Now you know exactly how to tell the difference between mold and root hairs, but what if something appears in your tray that you're a little unsure of? Join my microgreen support group on Facebook so you can post pictures and get the answers that you need. Watch the videos below to know what actually causes mold in microgreens and to hear my best tips when you're first starting your microgreens business. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this video with any friends who you think might find value in it. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.